Okay, Danny Bolton here, thin-blooded Hawaiian in the snow. We're gonna go over the Everly Sock Bang Bang. Okay, rain bag. I just called the Bang Bang. You can see I got three different ones here. Uh, I'm gonna basically just show you how I use them, the kind of things that I put into them, and some of the different pockets and some of the different options you could have on them. So simple enough. Here's the bag. It's got one main pocket in the center here. And then it's got two pockets on the side, as well as a clamshell on the bottom with a hard bottom. Cool thing about the hard bottom is, if it's wet, you're setting it in the snow, you're setting it in the mud, it's gonna keep, it's gonna keep itself dry and it's easy to clean off too. So let's just open this up and just get a look at it. And then I'll show you kind of how I pack them with some of the other stuff that I have in my truck that I carry around with me for some of the camping and instructing. So this one, I, I kind of stored some stuff in here, but I took all the, I took all the separators out of this one because I was packing tools in this one. But let's, let's get this one here and I'll show you the separators that it comes with. So it makes sense. Okay, so you see these foam separators, much like you'd see in like a camera case or something. Comes with all these in here, you can go ahead and separate stuff out, and keep it nice and padded. Like I have this glass French press. You know they call it the range bag because you're gonna be carrying all your range stuff in there, your ammo, your magazines, optics, um, different stuff like that. I've kind of incorporated it into a lot of the other stuff I carry just to keep my stuff organized. But this is the separators, they come with that. This one, you see, if, if you want, you can customize it. You can take some in and out, uh, or you can just take the whole thing out. It has this little pocket here, which I can show you how I've used it over there. You have a pocket on the lid, okay? This whole thing here, side pockets. These side pockets also have spots for your magazines or spoons or spices, salt, pepper, Garlic powder is always a good one. And uh, very similar on this side. Same thing here. Here, a pocket there. I'll soften up this bottom. Fingers don't look very good. So here you go. Put, you know, your rifles, take apart your rifles and put them aside here or your handguns, whatever. Got that hard bottom, like I said. And so there, there's basically an empty one pocket here in the very front as well. A bunch of webbing. You can hook up anything you want. So I'll just walk through here with these are. Make note though, these right here do not come with it. These I stole off another one of the packs. Kind of hooked on here. Just gives me more, more options, more stuff to put inside here, but they don't come with it. It's something I just kind of customly put on here. So this is the setup I got for all my coffee. I got my jet boil, I got my steep coffee or French press. I got my cups, I keep my mugs in here. I keep my creamers inside here. Um, let's look at, this one's cool. This is the one I got set up for all my kitchen stuff. So here we got olive oil spray, makes it just easier when you're cooking. You got salt, you got pepper, you got garlic powder, we got chorizo seasoning that we we're seasoning up some elf with, some other spices. Here's some stuff I just stole from, we borrowed. We, we don't steal, we just borrowed it from some restaurants, uh, some ketchup, jelly, sugar packs. Got those in there. Put that away. We got a side here. Gotta do dishes. We got ourselves a rack. Got ourselves some soap and sanitizer. Empty. Probably need to get rid of that. Got a sponge. Kinda got our dish set up in here. And, and sometimes I put a trash bag. I have trash bags in here as well. So. That's the sides, open the top up. A lot of my silverware is in here. Extra batteries, silverware, spore, spatula, things like that. We got a lighter in there. I got a little lantern in here. All my pots, camp fuel. This is kind of how I lay this out. We got my plates, one for me, one for my date. Oh yeah, that's that. So let's zip this back up. I don't remember what I have on the bottom of this thing. If I do have anything, but well, we're gonna take a look just to see what I have stored down here. Channel's eyes fall in the stuff. Well, 
Ziplocs, aluminum foil. <laughs> those are big Ziplocs. I could have had those in there. I kind of needed some Ziplocs the other day. Now I remember where they were at, but I mean, super versatile. Uh, this is yeah, just stuff I carry with me when I'm a lot of campy, especially while we're we're doing the driving instructing. So that's how I got these set up when I'm at home. I kind of set them up a little bit different. You know, if I yeah, I'm actually gonna go shooting, I kind of load that stuff in and out of them. That's pretty much that's pretty much my go-to bag as far as separating out little kits and, and having it so I can just grab and go stick this in my garage and then when I go load up the truck boom it's already ready to go it's got all my stuff in it bang bang easy